Yo, what is up, Young Squad? It's your boy, Young D, if you're new to the channel. If you like videos like this one and want more banger videos like this one, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell for me. And for the people that do know me, I'd like to say I appreciate all the love and support. Guess what? We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. You already know that. So let's, you know, share my channel. If you like it, if you like it. If you don't, you know, maybe I'm just not for you. But we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. And we will hit that young squad. We will. And without further ado, I get straight into the video. But before I do, I'd like to say shout out to Daniel Perez uh, for being a member of the channel. If y'all don't know Daniel Perez, uh, he's actually the first YNG member of the channel. And uh, as him being a YNG member, all I got to do is just shout him out. And so, hey, Daniel Perez, I appreciate this love and support. And hopefully, uh, you continue on to support me in the future uh if y'all want to get shout out just like daniel perez go ahead and go ahead and be a yng member it's i believe i have it as 4.99 a month now if you just want to be a member to the channel you know participate in like member only chats uh i start off at 2.99 and i have a yng vip which uh you get your name on the screen and on top of that uh i get to follow you on one social media of your choosing in the future, I will have more tiers, but as of right now, this is what I'm comfortable with. Uh, you know, I'm just starting out. You know, I'm not big of a YouTuber just yet, just yet. But, you know, you got to start off somewhere, right? Uh, now, like I said, without further ado, make it straight into the video. Uh, sorry, there wasn't a video yesterday. Um, I didn't set up my uh, console, so, yeah. But in today's video, what we're going to do... Um, we're gonna go over the five new five new maps, and uh, we're gonna add Bone Cavern Two into the mix. Um, since Bone Cavern Two, uh, I don't have a route for that. I do now, but you know, as of right now, uh, I'm gonna show y'all five of the routes of the new map, and then I'm gonna add Bone Cavern Two into the mix. So y'all can you know, like practice the routes. Y'all can get better, and y'all can move up into um on the leaderboard now as a precaution i am not on my normal setup i am in louisiana baton rouge and i don't have my 120 fps um if y'all don't know 120 fps as a 120 frames per second i do play on the ps5 and i don't have it so if you see me being a little bit slower that's why uh, I did brought my monitor with me, so what I might have to do, I might have to find a way to plug up my monitor um, so I can go back to racing how it is. But if I get used to racing on 60 FPS, then I'm not going to change nothing. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, first, first route I'm about to show, um, about to go over here, I'm about to do Jackrabbit. Jackrabbit is actually pretty fun if you get the route, and you can then help you win races. So without further ado, let me show you the Jackrabbit route. Now, as you can see, the map looks totally different from the last time y'all seen me race. Like I said, I don't have 120 FPS, so right now, the graphics is on max. But hopefully, that don't affect your boy. For the people that don't know, that's a little cave entrance. I ended up messing it up, but it's all right. We're still good. We're moving. We're rolling. We're rolling. Boom. Hey, look. Now, sorry it took me so long to make this video. Um, you know, I myself wasn't familiar with the route, but now I'm racing it so many times that uh you kind of get comfortable i got comfortable boom boom and boom that's exactly how you're supposed to hit that now obviously the later on this season goes the route is going to change you're going to see me use a different route but this is for people that just want to 
a nice little route to learn that can help them move them in the leaderboards. Help them get to Unreal, Champion, Elite. Maybe help you get you unstuck to whatever uh, rank you're in. But yeah. Oh? Oh? Ah. I couldn't get my car in there, but. Obviously, I get the point. I basically did the same thing in three laps. Hit that flip. All right, there's a the route for Jackrabbit. Like I said, if it feels I'm a little bit slow, I am. Playing on 60 FPS is a total big difference than 120 FPS. But either way, still got the job done. And I'm pretty sure if I go into rank, I can still win some races. So I just need to know if I can win highly competitive races. You know, when I want to go against the top Unreal players. But anyways, I was Jackrabbit. And now it's time for Tri-City. So now we're at Tri-City, a.k.a. what I like to call it, the Tri-State area. Uh, this route is actually my own doing. I made it up. Uh, my PB is a 203 using my own route. And I believe the... Uh, the road record is a 201, so I'm two seconds away from breaking the road record of Tri Tri City. Want to hold your drift? Boom! Hit that. Want to drift as long as possible on that top of the hill? Do that little flip. Want to do another flip? And usually, if you can hit that pad, you can get basically close to a thousand speed. And then tilt your car down, or tilt your car down, so you can land faster. Do the same thing over and over for lap one, two, and three. Boom, boom. Now, if you can hit a mag flip. I'll show you where if you can hit a mag flip at. It'll save you a lot more time, but me, I can hit a mag flip to save my life. Alright. Yeah, no. Right at the bridge, that's where you kind of want to hit your mag flip. Hey, what's up, Maple? And... Boom. Drift, drift. If my car could stop bouncing, I would have been fine. And get that drill. And this way you kind of want to hit that mag flip right at that bridge connection. But I'm not that good at the game yet. So. Baby track, Tri City. Hit a 206. I can do better, but I did miss the boost. And also, what's up, Cleo? Cleo the Net. Thank you for tuning into the stream. But anyway, that is the route for Tri-City. Uh, good luck practicing that. My route is actually not hard. It's actually pretty fun. Especially if you can get enough speed going. You know? Like I said, PB is a 203. All right. Slap happy. Um, This map is honestly a tough one for me. I haven't perfected this route in slap happy yet. But I do understand what to do in this route. So basically... Now just follow what I do. You know, hopefully I get a better start boost than me. But, you know, luckily I'm not in rank. Boom. Gonna hit that. I don't want longer drifts. Wanna hit that. And... That's what you wanna hit. And then... Flip to the bottom. And boom. And that's exactly how you're supposed to hit it. 
Hit that mag clip. Alright, we're gonna do it again. End it there. Boom. And boom. Longer drifts. Kinda wanna make sure you get 700 through that turn. Loki, I did mess it up. I did mess it up. Now, as you see, there is a little speed pad on top of that roof. It's it's not used for going after it, so. And boom. Alright, and land. You wanna drift longer? Drift, drift, drift longer. Hit this. And boom. And if you do that perfectly, you should have all three routes. There we go. Hit a nice little mag flip. And boom. That is a straight, simple way for Slap Happy. Um, Like I said, unfortunately, I did hit a 152, but I don't have 120 FPS no more. I'm still trying to get used to 60 FPS. If I can't, I'll go straight to 120. But that is a Slap Happy route. Now we're going on to the two hardest maps in Neon Rush, which is Conduit and then Delirium. All right, Conduit. This was a hard map for me to learn because I couldn't do the skip. But once I see how people did it, I end up getting used to it and I end up getting better at it. So you want to do that little flip. Usually I flip down. So I can like drift on that grass if I could. But since I missed the grass part. It's alright. Won't make that much of a difference. And then you want to make sure you get good enough drifts around here. Flip your car. End your drift. Flip your car again. Right at that checkpoint. Okay, well. That's not exactly how you really should hit it. There's a little, like, like, there's like a little click you gotta hit. Boom, 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 drift, drift. And then you wanna flip your car down. Pretend like this is Olympus. And you gotta do that little car flip. Little flip. Huh? For some reason, I did not get none of the boosts. And I can't get that uh, grass skip. That's all right. Gonna use that boost. And then you're gonna injure drift. Make sure you get a nice good drift. Flip your car. Hit that checkpoint. There we go. At that angle, you will hit a wall. It's okay. You're not gonna die. Along, you're not drifting too much. But that's the best possible way to hit that skip. And then, just like Olympus, you want to flip down, hold your car, boom. And then, you're off to the races. And you're going to repeat the same thing that it did in lap 2 and 3. Boom. Alright. Car want to break dance, but it's alright. Want to hit that drift, hit that drift. When you have a nice split second of a straightaway, that's when you're going to end your drift. Flip your car, hold it, hold it. There, look at that. And then that's where you want to use your boost. Really up to you how you want to manage your last two boosts. And now we're off to the races. Flip your car. Once you hit, once you pass the walls, so you, so you don't bump into the walls, go ahead and use your last boost straight into the finish line. And I managed to hit a 237. I believe that's a, a PB for me. I'm That's 10 seconds away from world record. On a new setup, 10 seconds away, I'm pretty, pretty, pretty happy. Pretty happy. Um, but anyways, that's Conduit. 
And now we're on to Delirium. All right. Delirium. Now this map, I pretty understand, quite frankly. Too bad I hit a 59 boost, but luckily I'm not in range. I'm gonna hit that. Make sure you shorten up your drifts all the way until the very last curve. You're gonna hit this low for me. Well, usually my drift's supposed to end, but it's alright though. And hit that. Do that. Hit a little turn. Hold your drift. Hold your drift. And then, boom. And then you're going to hold your drift. End it right there at that turn. And boom. And then you want to jump off. Don't flip down. Just jump off. Why? So you can hit that little turn at the end. And you can do the same thing you just did. Boom. Shorten up your drifts. Now hopefully at that turn your drifts are a little bit cleaner than mine. But it's alright. Boom. And then you want to hold it. Boom. And then you're going to use your boost. And then you're going to do the same thing. Now this time, you're not going to take the skip, you're just going to hold your drift, and you'll go the full way. End it. Keep going, keep going. Drift, end it, and then boom. Now you're back at two boosts. You're going to hit that. Jump off. Don't flip down, just jump off. Avoid the res. Unfortunately, that's what I didn't do. And you're gonna do the same thing over and over again. Boom. Boom. And boom. And then go ahead. This time you're not gonna do nothing. You're just, just gonna drift normally. And then now you're able to do the cut. You want to do that and then boom. And that is the route for delirium. As you can see, pretty easy routes, not really hard to do. You just got to learn them. Um, a 302. Sub three is really the goal. If you can get a sub three, you'll be cool. Uh, I believe road record is like 246. So, you know, that is a bad time. But, you know, I haven't really mastered all of these routes. I just, once I learned them, I'm sharing them out to the community. Now, like I said, it is early on for Neon Rush. So all of these routes could change. There could be more skips. There could be a new mechanic that people need to learn, et cetera, et cetera. Obviously, the game is still advancing despite, you know, the numbers being low, there's still people that still being try hard. So, all right, that is Delirium. And now a bonus uh, route that I'm about to show y'all is Bone Cavern 2. Uh, even though Bone Cavern 2 was in the last season, um, it wasn't in ranked uh, officially, like uh, in the high unreals, uh, champion elites, diamonds, it wasn't in the game. Uh, but now they put it back in the game. So. Unless they took it out, and i just not aware. Um, yeah. But anyways, the Bone Cavern 2 is what we're about to learn. All right. Bone Cavern 2. The bonus route. Since I haven't showed it last season, I'm going to show it this season. All right. Flip. Hit that first pad. There we go. I hit three pads all in one. Now I have that extra boost around the corner. Boom. All right. If I knew how to control my drifts, I'd have been fine. But we're good. Boom. 
Kind of want to get a drift going. And then, boom, right around here. This is where you want to use your boost at. And then you want to use another boost. They're going to do that flip. Hit that, and hit that. There we go. If you can hit all three boosts right there in that bone cavern route, you'll speed right around the corner. All right, well, I jumped too high. All right, and then... Unfortunately, I'm not going to get that boost. But if you be working on your drifting, obviously I haven't mastered this route yet. So, of course, I'm going to make mistakes. But, you know, I did it perfectly twice, two in a row, two in a row. So, y'all understand the premise of the route. And then, boom. Unfortunately, I end up uh, messing up, but it's all right. We're good. And boost around that corner. And boom. That is the route for Bone Cavern 2. I did mess up on the last lap, but first two laps is exactly how you want to hit that. Um, and I did hit three three speed pads at the start that's also a goal so you can get like 900 right around that corner uh and you can like you know beat the competition um also i'm gonna still blame it on me playing on 60 fps instead of 120 fps which is my usual but uh yeah anyways that is the route for all five neon rush maps that they added and i had the bonus one of bone cavern 2 since I know y'all like my last route video that I made, that's basically like around 2,000 views, you know, thought I'd help out the community. So y'all can practice that route. You know, get yourself out of champ or elites or whatever rank you're stuck in. Or maybe you need that to get to Unreal. So, hmm. anyways, Unscald, without further ado, Young D is out of here.